so this video will show a common illustrator problem so for example um, you have a text layer and then maybe it's actually some kind of paragraph you kind of have this space around here and maybe there is a layer here, something else like an object and you you want to select um, the right things. Now this is a simple example because it's just two layers but sometimes like one layer is laid on, on top of things and then the text actually expands so it's difficult to select this one. So what you actually want is for this um, area to be uh, the right size so you can go and resize it and it's a bit messy to uh, to like go and resize every layer like you might end up with a ton of layers and like, if you look at them in outline mode it's actually three boxes and they all have um, overlapping areas so it's a bit of a mess and the way you could clean it up is, is by using a script it's called fit text frame and i have it set up here in actions so if i click it like look um it just it's just only the text frame um, so a few years ago somebody wrote this for me um, this is a call so cartography yeah, so it's a person who really uh, yeah, is specialized in, uh, in making script for illustrator I made a YouTube video about it and it was a bit confusing because I didn't really explain how it all ties together like um, people commented yeah I don't know what you're talking about and how to um, how to do it with the actions menu so just to give it some more context uh, there's a button mode so basically if you have your actions there is a way that you can set it to button mode and then every action is a button so that's one aspect you should know another aspect of uh, how it works that you should know is that um, if you go to your um, Illustrator folder, so that's actually applications, Adobe Illustrator CC 2015, then go to presets, ENUS, or depending on which language you installed, it will be different, scripts, you will find that there are um, uh, default scripts here, and the one that I edit is this fit to text content 2jsx this script that you can download in the link I will put in the YouTube video so I hope that gives you a bit of a better explanation one final thing to actually add the script you have to first place it in this folder so you're placing it within that scripts folder of your illustrator and then um, you can um, go to uh, the menu and record an action but you're not really recording an action in this case uh, because uh, your script is in the menu so you're really adding a menu item you're adding this fit to text content to menu item to be uh, what gets executed when you click this action fit text frame so basically how to do it is to get to this little icon here and then um, you will have a new action so I'll just make a new one and delete it later fit text frame and then to actually make it you do insert menu item and then you kind of navigate to the one you need which is scripts fit to text content 2 okay so that kind of gives you the action so the new action I'll try to simulate it here to make sure that it works I have a, a bigger one it's too big then I execute the action um, now it added the move part so if I execute that action and play, it does the trick. So I don't like to like, move to this play button, I like to have it in this button mode. And that's how it works.